Today, we are shining a light on one of our scholarship recipients, JLo. Throughout this interview, you get to know this strong and incredible student with a beautiful soul. You hear her story in her own words, from her passions and strides to hardships faced. This is something that you'll want to hear from start to finish. Hi, JLo. It's so nice to see you. My name, of course, is Kristen, but they also call me DJ Bubbles or Bubbles around here because everyone has a camp nickname. So if you had to choose a camp nickname for yourself, which name would you choose? Rosalina. So that would be your official camp nickname. So I hear that you can do something really cool, sing in Mandarin. Would you mind singing for me? Awesome, thank you, you sound so good. So just tell me about your first camper experience with ID. Just share the excitement, the atmosphere, and what you took away from it. Um, it was quite interesting because I have never I never did anything with with technology like coding and editing videos and all that stuff. But once I got into it, it was quite fun. And I learned how to edit videos, which I use for school now. And I now know how to like code a little bit. And Zenobia, from your perspective, how has ID impacted your family's life? ID Tech has been a blessing in my family's lives um, during a very tragic 2020 and very stressful 2020. It gave the children, it gave JLo this especially, the opportunity to become engaged in an academic area that has a big impact on where this country is currently going, which is bottom line, robotic surgery. And it gave JLo the opportunity to focus on one of her goals in life, which is to be a, a doctor, you know, and whether it's a surgeon or an anesthesiologist, there's a great bit of computer technology, uh, editing, coding, all of that is involved in that study process that she's going to have to go through. And so it's given her the assets to put in her tool bag, you know, even though it was full of hurt and a lot of pain in our family for the loss of her sister, her older sister, you know, my daughter, it was um, the biggest blessing that we could have gotten in 2020, which was to help to give her something that had some kind of hope attached to it. So JLo, how has ID Tech impacted your life? Um, ID Tech has impacted my life by showing me, showing me that there's other stuff that we can do with what we, what we learn and that it can be fun instead of it being boring or repetitive. So JLo, as mentioned, I know that you lost your sister due to COVID-19. Would you care to share a story about your sister with us? Like um, a few years ago, when we were downstairs, it was Christmas time and we were all downstairs and we had gotten out the karaoke and then we started singing and Leilani is a really good singer. Off camera, JLo and I discuss the hard natures of first without the person that you love, but also the need to celebrate the life of that person. On Christmas, JLo and Zenobia went to Leilani's grave site. They danced and they sang her favorite Christmas song, the iconic All I Want for Christmas is You by Mariah Carey. However, we also discussed so much more than that. We talked about her catching a gigantic catfish to the awesome miso soup that she can make. We discussed her birthday plans, which include fishing and a cook off with her wonderful mother. We even had a little fun coming up with the candy name for our director of social impact, Ilka Reese. We decided on princess because of the words of Zenobia, the love that she gives, the blessings that she sprinkles, and the lifelines that she extends. Despite her circumstances, the resilient JLo still forges on and still manages to find some sense of normalcy. In that, she serves as a role model for us all. The R in our camper spirit, which are our values, stands for resilient. And if I had to think of a word to describe you, Resilient would be it. What does resilient mean to you? It means withstanding mm -hmm. and staying strong. So I know you want to be a doctor. What inspired that decision? 
me just seeing different types of things that you can do when being a doctor that there's a variety of things you can do being a doctor and she wants to be a, she wants to be an international doctor she's 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 <clears throat> mentioned several several years that she wanted to to go back to China to help people that's a beautiful goal to want to help people in life for sure and you've got this you've got this I know you can do whatever you set your mind and your heart to do and I want you to know that and ID Tech is going to be here every step of the way and we can't wait to see what you do next and we mean that from the bottom of our hearts we truly do so thank you for taking the time to speak with me I truly appreciate it and both of you I just want you to take care hey Bob Bubbles the one thing that you said that's going to resonate with us and it truly means that Milani's here is what was her favorite saying um I got this I'm glad that I can just bring that moment to both of you yeah she always said you got this and she's right she's still so right